what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we're here in new jersey it's really cold out right now it actually has been raining the past two days and now it's cleared up but the temperatures dropped so here i am in the garage and i want to talk to you about this 2020 road glide i have now so i bought this bike in 2020 february 2020 actually right before the pandemic actually one of a good investment to buy right before it because the prices out of these bikes got out of control but I've done a lot of upgrades to this bike. A lot of people have a lot of questions sometimes and they ask me, Dave, you spent what on your bike and you're still upgrading it? What's the point? Now, all the upgrades I have on this bike from back to front, I've done the windshield, the lighting, the engine work, the seat, the shocks, uh, my stereo system. I've done a lot of things, but you can't really put a price on smiles and for me the best money that i spent now we could sit here we could argue you're a fool for spending that much money just for another part on your bike the best money i spent on this bike had to be the engine work so this is the 114 motor i have a couple upgrades on here it is a stage two i do have an hpi air cleaner and there's a arlen s 55 miller air intake manifold the bassani pipe and also right in here is the 475 cam with the cam chest, the lifters, the tappet covers, all that. Now, when I say I'm happy or I got a lot of smiles out of this bike was because of the 475 cam. And to me, yes, it was expensive to upgrade and just to get more power out of the engine, you get the best bang for buck with your 475 cam or with any cam for these motors but the 475 cam actually is the balance between torque and power it gives you a little bit more top end power and it does give you more torque depends who tunes it when you tune it how you tune it right now as it currently sits uh i can't remember all the numbers off the top of my head i have to look but i think it's 123 torque and I think 111, 112 horsepower that this engine produces. But the 475 cam upgrade I did was probably the best money I spent because I got more power, I got more torque, I have a lot more smiles. You keep up with traffic, even though, you know what, the 114, 107, if you keep it in stock form, just put some pipes on it, it keeps up. It does, it really does. But if you want more power, course that's why i went that route now you could say dave you should have just got rid of this big old heavy thing and just bought a sport bike if you wanted more power to go faster yes that's why i have the honda back there but i do particularly like how the power delivery is on this motor and on the on the bike with the 475 cam now with all the parts the tuning and the labor i did go to get lowered cycles to do all the work i was looking into going to the dealer and doing it there but obviously you know the deal is a little more expensive plus the harley dealer around here i'm not particularly a fan of and that's a different story for another time so i went to get lowered and with the cam chest you can see on get lowered's website right now as we speak it's, a, it's on sale, but MSRP for the 475 cam with the cam chest, the, the adjustable push rods, the tap and covers about 1600 or 1700. They usually run a sale on them there. So go check them out if you can. And then with the tuner, I actually had the Harley tuner before, but now I have the Power Visions tuner and I didn't buy the whole unit itself. I just bought the map because after to tell you the truth, I went to get lowered before I did the 475 cam. They did my handlebars here. And Mike treats you like a rock star. So I keep going back to him for business because you know what? He takes care of me. He takes care of all the customers that come through there. Not just because I do YouTube or anything like that. Just because, you know what? He knows what he's doing. And uh, he gives you a fair price. So like I said, the 475 cam was about 1600 And then to 
to dyno tune it, remap it, probably was another 300. And with the labor, probably another three to 400 bucks. So grand total about 23 to 2400. I don't know the exact price off my head again. I do have the receipt somewhere here in the garage. But $2,400 to me was well spent. Now you could say, Dave, you're an idiot. You could say I'm irresponsible. Maybe that's big to differ, but who owns a Harley and just keeps it stock? Trust me, per, you don't find any Harley rider and keeps his uh, bike stock. So, I mean, is it irresponsible? Yes, but all the smiles I get from riding this bike, I'm always grinning. There's really, any time I'm on the bike, even if it's cold and miserable about, out, even if it's raining and miserable out, I still have a lot of fun on this bike because of that cam. I've been riding around with it for about, I want to say 12,000 miles now. No problems with it. I did upgrade, like I said before, I did upgrade these after I put the 475 cam in about almost a year after. The only reason I upgraded is because I heard the plastic air manifold actually fails on these Harleys. So I upgraded to the SNS 55 millimeter aluminum one and I decided to go with another look. We got this HPI cover, air intake. Yeah, so you really can't put a price on your happiness and smile sometimes. Yeah, it was a little expensive to upgrade. Yes, it was. Would I do it again? Definitely. But for me personally, I really think bang for buck, even though I spent all that money, about 2,400 bucks, 2,500 bucks on upgrading to a stage two, you get the most horsepower gains and you get the most torque gains and you get more smiles out of your bike. So let's start it up. Now this is a really actual cold start. It's been sitting here for, mm, I wanna say a week and a half, not started. It is on the trickle charger here. This is actually Mega Boost trickle charger. Uh, there's a trickle charger and a battery charger. So I did a video on that, link below, check it out. But let's start this bad boy up. So I pulled it out of the garage, it's warming up. As you can hear, you're gonna hear that lumpy lobe sound. That's the best part about this cam. But like I said, it hasn't been started in a while. So we won't hear it as much yet. But once it gets warmed up, it sounds awesome. 